Good morning, Orchard STEM School. This is Mr. Hoytick, the art teacher. Today, we are going to add color to our Georgia O'Keeffe inspired cow skull. Now, I have printed up what this looks like just so I can see my colors and see where I want to put my colors. I can see I'm going to need some red, some blue, and some black. In addition, I might need to use the black to make some grays. And it almost looks like there are some areas that are like a light tan around the bull skull. So I can set this here and I want to erase. I made some letters to remind me that that's black or or red. I didn't label the blue. I'll take those sections out and I can go ahead and start adding my black colored pencil to these areas. Try to get the very point of the color pencil in there. There we go. And I want all my lines to be in going in the same direction. That give me a nice solid black color. Careful at the bottom of the paper. The edge of the paper, it's easy to make it fold or rip. Kind of slow down a little bit. I want to stand back from that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'm going to do way up at the top here. Use the point of the pencil to trace around the top of the skull. If I see the white of the paper, I want to color over it again, make it nice and solid. All the way across. All right. To about there. That's good for now. now I think I'd like to do the red next. So I'll erase this little R, and I'll erase this little R. And I'll go ahead, and I'll make a nice edge. Go around the bullhorn. Careful on the edge of the paper.
So I look at it, I want all the color to be going the same direction. Oh, I better hold the edge of the paper there. There we go. Now I'm going to do the right side. using the point of my pencil. Trace around that horn. And I want my lines to be vertical, you know, up and down, so that the right side red matches the left side red. If you colored side to side, you make the other side side to side. I thought it would be a good idea to color these vertically because they're long vertical areas. Now let's see here. It went outside it a little bit, no worries. When you get To the top, the edge of the paper be real careful on. There we go. Now my final part I'm going to do, you know, the final of the big parts, big areas, it's going to be the blue next to the cow skull. I'm going to go ahead and move my example. There we go. Take a close look at it first. And I can see that it looks like it's blended out and the blue is darker next to the skull, next to the black. So I'm going to keep that handy. I'm going to get my dark blue. All right. And what I'll start doing is next to the black, color in with that dark blue. And next to the horn, color in with that dark blue. If I want to check my example again, you can look at it digitally. I have mine right here. So I can see that this area is going to be that dark blue. My blue might be a little bit darker. That's fine with me. This is going to be called, this is going to be what I call the base layer. It's the layer on the base. There we go. And I'll do this section here. And I'll trace around the horn. Now I noticed on the left side, the blue on the left side, Perhaps I should have had the lines going diagonal, pointing down towards the skull. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that on the other side too. Get this edge nice. And the left edge nice. Now, what I'm going to start doing is diagonal 
down towards the skull. First I'm going to trace around the outside. This lets me color it a little bit more, uh, a little faster. And so, So, nice base layer. Then on the right side, I'll trace around the skull. And I'll go ahead and I'll angle it symmetrically so it's angled down diagonally just like the other side was angled down diagonally. both sides to match. I want them to be kind of symmetrical to each other. And maybe I'll make this side have some streaks coming out. There we go. Now it's time for my light blue. And I'm going to blend the light blue everywhere. So I'll start at the top. side first and I'll let this blue come out a little bit and I'll blend the light blue with the dark blue and I'll blend it next to the skull See, I'm doing some vertical color in there. Ooh, that's neat. And I'll do the right side. Start in vertical. A little bit diagonal. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just very lightly bit more of that light blue. And I'll do that over on the left side too. Very lightly. Add some of that light blue. Good. Now last things last, I've got that brown. Let's look at the skull itself. So I see no brown on like the forehead or the horns, but down here I see some very light brown. A little bit over on the cheek here. And a little bit down here. And on the side of the ridges, the little cracks and ridges on the skull. I see a little bit. Just here and there. 
these will be a nice detail and you can add some brown to the edge of the skull again I don't want to do any up here if I hit it a little harder on the edge that'll look cool and if I color a little bit harder right next to these cracks that will look cool too and blend it down and just a little bit here a little bit there a little bit on the edge a little bit on the edge here stop to look at it all right there we go all right take your time try your best i can't wait to see your artwork thanks